Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Sunday, fun day. Hope everyone had a great weekend so far. If you uh, did any cool fishy stuff, why don't you leave me a comment below? Let me know what it is. And, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to be pretty busy. Today is Saturday morning, actually. I haven't had coffee, so there are already quite a few bloopers, which you'll see at the end. Um, I think this is my fourth or fifth take. Yeah, so... So what happens when you don't plan, you just kind of turn the camera on and go. Now that's not true. I did sort of plan this. Like I knew I'd be buying these fish. I knew I'd be filming it for you guys. Um, I didn't know I'd screw up so much. That said, let's move on, shall we? Uh, so in the 90 gallon, we have two new fish that I bought. In the 75 gallon, I've moved over a fish from another tank. And uh, there's a story with, with those tanks. So without further ado, I will show you. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. First, I want to talk about my new t-shirt from Aquarium Adventures. Uh, Graham runs a channel out of the UK. Um, he also is the first one to help me with my website. He set it up originally. My hosting is through him, blah, blah, blah. Technical, technical, technical. Long story short, great guy. Never met in person, super helpful really like his channel because it's very similar to mine except he's in England um, he has a saltwater tank he also has lots of freshwater tank and, and um, other than you know the haircut both being extremely handsome and <clears throat> keeping it real we really are very different but go check out Aquarium Adventures if you haven't already he is part of the fish fam the international contingent part of the fish fam uh, buy his shirt um, it came all the way from England and uh, it was a little pricey to ship but apparently not as pricey as my shirt was to ship to him all right let's show you new fish all right there's the goldfish that was in the 15 gallon tank next to the 30 gallon breeder uh, he's just gonna hang out up here for a while until I decide what else I want to put in here Maybe some more goldfish. I mean, they're cool. Um, I don't know. When I got this guy, he was tiny. His whole job is to eat duckweed. But he's kind of grown on me. Um, in the little tank, the low tank, Lucas liked to pet him and, and stuff. So that was kind of neat. But yeah, we'll leave him up here. Help him, um, you know, cycle this tank. That filter is cycled, so the tank is pretty much cycled. But, you know, more bacteria, the better, I guess. So, all right. You want to see the new fish? Before I show you the new fish, I'd like to wish one of my fans, young Matthew, a happy birthday. Matthew is a young man in Canada who really enjoys my channel. And I've spoken to his mom a couple times uh, via Facebook Messenger. And I know his birthday's coming up. So Matthew, happy birthday, buddy. I hope you enjoy the stickers I sent you. And I uh, hope you have a great day, kiddo. All right, let's check out the 90 gallon now. I don't know what's going on with these guys, but there's two Oscars, a albino and a red tiger Oscar, and they look dead, <laughs> but they're not. I came down here, they were swimming just fine. I sit down and they're like, we're shy. We're not going to swim. We're not going to be fun for you to film, dummy. So yeah, they don't look great because they're just sitting there like, Urgh. but I'm telling you, they were swimming around when I first got here. And uh, we're going to feed them a little bit later, so I'm sure they'll, they'll perk up and move around. So it's a uh, Red Tiger Oscar and a Red Tiger Albino Oscar. And I'm, I'm considering naming them Han and Leia. Leia would be the Albino because she always wore white. Haven't really decided yet, but I think that's what we're going to go with. Um, if they didn't have an Albino and I was going to get two uh, darker ones, they would be Han and Chewie. You know, Star Wars nerd here. Get over it. Um, all right. That's that's it for this tank, I guess, for now. So uh, what else do we have? Oh, Red Dragons had babies. Like it was Fry Fry Friday. But let's see if we can see them in here. I still haven't drilled these tanks, so the water level is still quite low. Of course, you can't see the babies. Trust me, they're in there. No babies from the glass bellies. Um... L-144s are shipping out to Colorado on Monday. Uh, yeah, 
so that's it. That's it. Oh, let's talk about these tanks. I told you I'd talk about these tanks. Let's talk about these things. First, we're going to move the heater. Then we're going to move the tripod and scooch on over. Scooch, scooch, scooch. That's what it's called when you scooch. So there is the goldfish tank. As you can see, it's completely a disaster. Very dirty. I am ashamed of myself. But uh, what are you going to do? Goldfish was fine. So uh, I'm going to clean that tank out. Actually clean all the duckweed and uh, Ricky and all that other stuff off the tank. Look, duckweed. Um, <clears throat> and actually most of that's Ricky, I think. Now that I'm looking at it in the water. Anywho, uh, completely clean that. And uh, probably throw away the substrate, which is pretty old substrate, and drill it. And I don't know where I'm going to put it. So I don't, I'm probably not going to drill it yet because if I put it here, I'd drill it in the back. But if I put it somewhere else, the long way, I'd probably drill it, you know, like here. So, um, And then this tank, the Molly Mutt Tank, or also known as the Tank of Misfit Fish. Um, all of these Mollies have been sold. Somebody offered me... A very nice sum of money and I have to make it worth his while so if there aren't enough mollies in this tank to uh, do that I will throw in some more of my black mollies or I don't know um, so th the plan for this tank is I'm going to take all the vegetation out save most of it because it's good uh, when I say good I mean you know there's java moss in there <clears throat> there's water wisteria which is fine there's a lot of duckweed so what I'll probably do oh this will be a cool experiment this is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take all the vegetation out I'm gonna put it in the goldfish tank let the goldfish eat all the duckweed then I will take that vegetation out and put it in another tank that'll be fun uh, the other thing that's in this tank that probably is gonna go in that big tank with the goldfish is that pleco because um, he's pretty big and I don't really have a room for him so um, Here's the deal with this bottom row, right? I have these 320s and they're up on blocks because they're so far away from the uh, sump, the drain. And then I have that 55 with angels in it. The koi angels are sold. The blue zebra angels are scheduled to go to auction at the Jersey Shore Aquarium Society, my first auction of the spring. Uh, that's, I think that's the 11th, the 10th or the 11th, whatever that Sunday is before, um, What's that Irish holiday? St. Paddy's Day? Yeah, that one. Um, it's the week before that. So there's three quarter size or slightly about quarter size blue zebra angels from the last spawn I had from, uh, before I sold the parents. <clears throat> there's scouts to go there. So everything in that tank is sold. So that 55 is going to come down and I'll put probably four 20s and a 10 um, in that spot. Uh, they shouldn't need to go up on blocks because the sump is right there and I should be able to plumb that no problem. I really like this 30 gallon. I like it for growing plants. It originally was a growing for profit tank. Of course, that never materialized because I'm an idiot um, and can't grow plants. That said, I may give it another shot, but uh, I want to take everything out of it. I want to drill it. I want to get it on the system. So we'll see what happens from there. All right, fishy folks. I think that's about it. Um... If you have any questions or comments, certainly shoot me an email, michaelsfishroom at gmail.com. And if you see anything you like, uh, you know, go to the website and buy it. <laughs> Don't forget to check out Graham's channel, Aquarium Adventures. There will be a link somewhere in the video. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Have a great day. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Sunday, fun day. Today's video will... I need coffee. Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Sunday, fun day. Hope everyone had a great weekend so far. Did some cool fishy stuff. If you did, let me know what you did in the comments below. So today's Sunday, fun day is actually a pretty fun day for me some new fish in the 90 gallon and a fish which you can see up there in the 75 gallon uh, we're moving some stuff around and uh, selling a lot of fish 
last week I so I shipped three orders. These orders are old, like from December. Um, and then we have a couple more orders, older orders going out, and then new orders came in. We're sending those out on Monday as well. So <clears throat> if you check my website out, www.michaelsfishroom.com, see something you like or see something you like in the video, uh, you know, you can order it up with confidence that it will be shipped. Of course, now that I said that, the uh, weather is going to suck. So I'm going to start over. Good morning, fishy folks. <clears throat> it's puberty. <clears throat> Good morning, fishy folks. Happy Sunday fun day. Today is a pretty fun day. Uh, it's actually Saturday, but shh, don't tell anyone. Uh, we have some new fish in the 90 gallon, uh, a, a different fish in the 75 gallon. We're going to be moving some stuff around. We got a lot of sales going on. When I say sales, I've sold a lot of stuff. So that means, uh, you know, figuring out what tanks get fast, did fasted, what tanks I have to fast. If only I could speak my language. 